going on everyone um, about to head out for today and uh, I just thought I'll do a little challenge here today um, I'm selling I decided I'm selling my J's my Jordans uh, just posted on Facebook marketplace um, it's always better to be doing this it's like the second time that I've had like a collection and then sold them all um, I've, I've always had a I've always kept the uh, Concords from my last round of buying Jordans and keeping them and wanting them. And then I rebought these. But all these other ones are, are pretty near, like the Shadows, the MPs, and Fire Reds. But, anyways, the challenge today is to do DoorDash, my little side hustle, in just flops. Um, not the Adidas flops. These are, these are like the, the real soft memory ones but the much stiffer Nike ones over there. And I got the, the big DoorDash bag here, so you know we're making bank. All right. So the vlogs are back, boys and girls. There we go. I'm just gonna hate on, glue on the haters, got Adidas socks and Nike pants. Little uh, trick I've been doing with these door with these door oh, I'll almost put in the password with these door dashes is uh um, I download um, episodes or a movie or something. Today it's Down to Earth, uh, starring Zac Efron. Um, I watched the first couple episodes, downloaded the rest of the season. So that's the vibe today. So we we're out here, got to the car. Um, Put the bag in the trunk. Uh, car is just heating up the engine. Um, I don't know if this is true, but it sounds pretty true that, um, and I'm in a manual too, so I guess that affects it. Now you gotta wait for the RPMs to get to the idle state, which is like 100, uh, it's like a thousand um, RPMs or lower. You know, lower is pretty ideal. And even in a parking garage, I guess it makes sense. It's cold down here. And um, overnight too, but uh, when I parked outside like this thing would take time to heat up But in other news the uh, I got a stick shift so I got three pedals and that's the, that was the thing about my Jordans that always like Messed it up for me. Maybe I can use this mirror That messed it up for me cuz like um, Like the left toe I would be using it for I'd be using it for um, the clutch, but then the toe would get creased and you can see that with the with the fives. So that's why I, I Don't know. I don't know about the pricing because I don't have the boxes with me. They're at my parents house so We'll see what happens if anyone even replies Because um, usually when it's like those bulk sales You know the message the message uh, Facebook messenger gets pretty pretty gnarly so let's hope it's all good. Anyways, it's almost uh, DoorDash time, lunch, 11 o'clock. Around here, we usually get uh, the best ones are like the Walmart ones. So let's see what happens. And enjoy the vlog, folks. This is what I'm podcasting ripping you. Andrew Soltz, welcome, welcome to Miami. A shot. All right, this is what the idol looks like under 1,000 RPMs. Ever got to Discord as well? Yeah. Shame. But that's just like, like you know, that's just what that's identity just what they do. And then like, pull it up. It's like. not only identity politics, dude. That's like. Check it out. Welcome to Toronto, Ferrari, bro. I don't know. I don't know my Ferraris, but I just know that one's fucking sexy, and it's a dream whip. I keep forgetting to turn off the uh, the radio whenever I film, but Ferrari time. Oh no. So a little update to what's going on. I got freaking Popeyes for uh I've been doing good on Popeyes, you know, I haven't ate Popeyes in a maybe a couple weeks. Or I, mean, I don't even remember. Wow. But a little update, I got my first order. 
uh, Little Caesars. So I'm out here. Um, the flops, it's honestly pretty cold out. Like it's winter, it's not that cold, but it's cold. So my toes are a little, a little, that are a little uh, chilly, but hey, that's, what, that's how we Canadians do. But about the shoes, I got a lot of responses. And I just picked out the first dude who wanted them um, all. Uh, fuck, I shouldn't have showed the names. I'll blur that out, I guess. I'll learn how to do that on iMovie. But um, but yeah, all of them for uh, 1200 Um I knocked out 50, 50 bucks for the dude, you know, for the people, you know. Um, so let me know, 1200 for all those, if it's a good deal or not for me or them. But honestly, I'm just gonna let it go. I need the cash. And once, you know, I'm, I'm for the people, man. Um, and they're all like GRs. They're all, they're 9.5, so like, that's like kind of a hard size to come by for a whole collection, but for the people. So I gotta go get this order right here. Uh, first or so first DoorDash order's done. Um, honestly, it's pretty nice out, so my feet aren't even that cold, and honestly, it's just super comfy. It reminds me of high school, you know, wearing flops all day, flops and socks. Um, but the first order was pretty good, $10.10. $10. I gotta get used to this camera right here. It's a flip, it's like those camcorders, you know, my dad hooked it up. But hey, I'm just gonna keep, I don't think I'm gonna keep vlogging more DoorDash um, orders because they're all pretty much the same and, you know, I gotta focus on driving and whatnot. So I'm gonna eat this um, Popeyes and get on the road. Alright, so I'm munching on this. Uh, Crispy chicken sandwich. There is no way to put this camcorder on nicely with a Mazda 3. This is kind of good. Lower steering wheel. But I just thought this is like my favorite chicken sandwich. I don't really. I had the KFC one, but you know KFC chicken just it has a taste. So like its own KFC taste, but this is delicious. However. Some Popeyes have different, like they make it differently. Some are too oily, some are too, like the chicken's not as crunchy, but this one at a, I don't even know, Stockyard, around Stockyard in Toronto, by the Walmart, they do it good. Nice fluffy bun, not too much mayo, two pickles, and crispy, bro. I'm gonna give this 8.5 out of 10. I actually scratched that as a rookie score. 8-7 because the bun is fluffy. 8-7 uh, Stockyard Popeyes. So I got a Walmart uh, grocery order. I just want to show you guys what it's like. Um, I got two. One was like 16 items. The other was like 84. So there's a lot of shit here. Good thing I have two bags now so it's easier. But it's in a condo so it's freaking it's a lot more work, so wish me luck. So I'm done door dashing for the, today. Um, made around forty dollars, and that's kind of my rule. If it's around forty to fifty and beyond, I'm kind of good for that shift. But now uh, my car is getting real salty. It's looking like Lightning McQueen when he was all muddy. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go to a Junction car wash I always see it when I drive by they have like a $20 unlimited car wash $20 a month for unlimited car washes and it's like $8 or whatever for one so if I do a couple car washes a month then it would be kind of be worth it but I don't know we'll see and uh, probably get the $20 one $20 package but yeah This thing's like a drive-through car wash. Pretty cool. It's not like a gas station car wash where, you know, I don't know, it might be the same thing, but this is just a car wash, it's not a gas station as well. Uh, so yeah. I don't know, it's kind of weird vlogging again, but I've all, I, I've tried to vlog, start up vlogging a lot of times um, since I stopped, like, at the end of high school. The, you know, this before it was like before I started before when I started when I was a kid, like younger, I was like I wanted to be a YouTuber or whatever. 
uh, now it's just like I just want to make videos and do stuff you know it, and it forces me to do stuff when I have when I am vlogging and you know putting out a video so also I'm not sure how how we do this even like I just went inside the line I hope we pay up there oh yeah this guy has a thing right there so it's one of those uh, conveyor belt car washes so we just in neutral for this so we'll see I just, I just got the Express, just a little single. Um, we'll see how this goes. How this goes. It, it'll probably be good. I should have got the monthly one, but I panicked. So. Uh, I think it's... Whoa. I, so, I just hope the Express uh, Express one is, is good enough. You know, it's the cheapest one. All right, let's check out the verdict. It's looking pretty nice, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, looking crisp. So I'm guessing the uh, Express is just good enough. I'll know that for next time. I was just about to film something and then the beeping happened in my building, I don't know. There's no announcements yet, so we'll see what happens. I was just about to light a candle too. I was about to show uh, this trick I saw on TikTok about campus. Uh, usually when there's a beeping, they like say something right away. The fire trucks are here. Let's hope it's nothing too serious. Or just fire drill or whatever, you know. So the alarm just stopped randomly. It kept going in from this suite to the hallway to everywhere again to the hallway. But now it's just off. I'm gonna see if the fire trucks are still there. Yeah, they're still there. But they definitely found the, uh, wherever the alarm went off but anyways let's test out this zing there's the city oh yo that's pretty good damn that's full zoom right there that's sick Every time it's a false alarm. But honestly, there's so many times where I thought the fire alarm would go off from something I'm cooking, but it never does. And I feel like if it did, it would just be like a, they would call it a false alarm or whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna edit the video for a little bit and um, check back in later. All right, so now that all the uh, mayhem was over with the alarms off and everything. I'm gonna show you guys the candle trick that I saw on TikTok. Um, so usually candles have those three um, candle wicks. I think that's what it's called. So here's, let's try it out. So you just light one. It's not working. What else? Well, that didn't work. Let's so light them all up the OG way. But check this out. Pretty sick, right? <laughs>